It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and we're here for beginners. Let's play number five of the infected side of the game. So today we're going to be checking out Mexico City. My team right now is doing pretty darn well, I must say. Eh, it's coming along. It could be better. So Dr. Zomboys is at level four. My foul mouth is at level three. No, my pick pickleback is level three. Biohazard at four. Delivery man at two. Infector at two. Runner at three. And my defiler is at level three. So it's coming along. I'm slowly getting there. I completely ran out of DNA. I use like all my DNA, DNA on upgrades. So I had to call it a day. But I think we're going to be pretty set for Mexico City. We are going to fight here. We are at 215 team power out of 125. So we're pretty well off. It's really just going to come down to strategizing. So I'm going to I'm gonna borrow Beast Zom's Titan because Titans are sweet. They are pretty much brutes with armor. And they can't be penetrated by gunfighters or low kind of little medium range gunfighter type people. So, tall concrete barriers block range units and can't be destroyed. Okay. So, that's pretty much similar to the tall, like, metal fences you kind of see when you're running around. They're blue, gray, and stuff like that in black. But these can't be destroyed, so we got to go all the way around to get them. So, let's go ahead and continue here. So, this is a pretty interesting little group here. It's a lot of commandos. No tanky units or anything like that to go up against. So, okay. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Let me go see what my guys do here. Are they going to be shot at? Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and throw down a biohazard to start causing problems for people. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to throw some of my main peeps up front here. Let's get a runner going up front here to start causing some problems. And I'm going to have my defiler kind of chilling in the back here. He's going to start, you know, just doing his thing. So the biohazard here is already causing a good amount of damage to these commandos here. I'm going to stim them up here. Let's go ahead and let them start doing their thing. I'm going to get my infector going in the back here. He's going to start getting me some more drones to go ahead and kind of disperse but i don't really have anywhere to disperse them so we're just gonna have to keep on rolling with these guys i'm gonna throw another runner up front here we have two runners now they're cruising got another pickleback to throw down let's go ahead and throw him down titan more titans let's throw them all down <laughs> all right so we're cruising here we are taking them out all without any problems here i'm gonna go ahead and stim them up here give my biohazard a little bit extra oomph you could say defiler another defiler chill in the back and biohazard number two so I have literally so many people to throw out right now. It's not even funny. I'm going to wait to throw out the delivery man really quick. Once we take out all those guys and he's off to the races, boys. We've got another infector to give me some more people. Let's just grow the horde. I love it. These are like the good old days. If you look at some of my old video day, old um, infected videos, I had one attack where I literally took up the entire map with drones. It was probably the greatest day of my life. <laughs> it was so much fun, guys. But we're just cruising on through. These commandos are not actually able to even cause damage to these titans because I don't think, not much at least. I mean, the titans are very well armored from them and they pretty much just cause problems. So our entire horde, by the time we took that entire loop, we had just completely demolished everything in sight and we got 337 trophies. Nothing more you can do, guys. So easy. No problems at all. Easy. Good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and show rewards. Maybe we got something good? No, no, nothing too good. Got an infector, some brains. I'll roll with that. So resource collectors. Now we can actually add more units to kind of increase our output. So I'm not going to do that. Well, actually, I kind of have to. Let me just go ahead and throw a delivery man in there. Same with this area over here. The delivery men are going to be boosting that a little bit. So it gives us a little bit more brains and DNA. I mean, you can't complain with the results from there. Let's go ahead and get another fight in here. Get some DNA next one. I'll tell you that. And by the end of this, we'll be getting Dr. Zombowitz. Is that three it said? Dr. Zombowitz the third. All right, let's go ahead and get this attack in. Get some DNA for some upgrades. Can't complain with that. Oh, got an itch. Oh, okay. Oh, everything's so much more compressed here. Okay, but I do like how these uh, snipers are in these little nooks and crannies. That makes my life a whole lot easier. To start this off, I'm going to start off a group of drones here with my biohazard, and I'm going to put another biohazard down. These are going to start causing some problems from people. Dr. Zombwitz is going to go up front, Defiler in the back, and now I'm going to start sort of flanking these guys a little bit. Get the rest of my guys going. Foul mouth up front, and I guess I got a runner going. And let's just kind of, we're just, I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm flanking these guys, so they're pretty much being attacked from every single angle. Let's go ahead and get an infector in the back here, get me some more drones, and these guys are about to take out those commandos, no problem. Biohazards are just rolling here. These drones should be able to take out these snipers. So these snipers downfall is that they're in these little nooks and crannies. So these biohazards are really just 
take them out. Now, I would definitely bring along your biohazard if you have it for this map because they give it to you for a reason. And it's really just going to help you out in the long run. Let's go throw another runner in here in a foul mouth or my pickleback. Jeez Louise. Oh, the filer in the back here. Now, I call I, I say bring along the um, biohazard because they do give it for you. You unlock it for a reason and they want you to utilize it for the rest of the campaign, at least for the next map. So it's very, very useful to bring along. I definitely recommend using it just because it makes life easier. I mean, it's a biohazard. Those things are amazing. So we picked out another win, guys. And I think the flanking, if you can, definitely go for the flank. It just makes life easier and these guys get overwhelmed fast. What did we get? We got an uncommon unit here. Got a foreman suite. These guys cause insane building damage. If you're trying to take out a hospital, he's going to get the job done. So, number three, ambush the humans using the tall walls and narrow alleys. Will do. Okay, we can only borrow that for delivery man from Nick, but I'll take it because the zombie guild I'm in is very small. So, if you guys actually need a zombie guild, Zombination Nation Infected. That's the name. And search that up. Get you going. All right, so, hmm, how do I want to go into this? This one's a little bit more interesting. I'm not really sure I like it that much. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is these snipers here, they don't do anything. They're just there. They're like, as, as long as I'm not coming from this area over here, I'll be golden. So I'm going to go in right here, try to take out these lumberjacks first. So let's go ahead and throw them out there. Get the runner, the filer in the back biohazard chilling here in the foul mouth up front let's start causing problems for these guys let's throw dr zombies in there too so we're going to take out these lumberjacks without any problems here i'm going to throw down some more drones and we're going to start working our way slowly but surely i don't know this this is a very ambitious um biohazard i have here he really wants to go get the job done he's just really hyped about his job but we take about we're about to take out those drones these drones are going to take out these snipers easily because look I mean, by the time they get in there, I mean, these snipers can't do anything. Let's go ahead and throw a defiler in there. Go take out some people for me. Down they go. Let's get an infector in there. Foul mouth up front. Eh, I don't want to use the flare. Go away. Okay, so I don't really, I haven't really found a use for my delivery man just yet. Oh my lord, we have a machine gunner. No fun. Foul play. I don't like this. Go get him. Get him. Bob. Okay. Go deliver, man. Go. Go do your thing. Blow him up. Blow him up. Blow him up. One more and we will be straight home free. Let's go ahead and throw down the rest of my drones here. Oh, my Lord. Y'all know what that sound means. Got a message. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're just going to take out the objective here and we should be home free with all three levels. Mm. And then we'll come back with the finale as the usual business here. So down goes all of those people. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go and continue. What do we get? What are our rewards? Got some brains and got a spitter and some more brains. I love it, guys. So that is day three completed. I will complete day four and five off, off video or off screen or whatever you want to say. And we're going to come back with the finale when we get the upgraded Dr. Zombowitz the third. So, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. I'll be right back in just a second. See ya. All right, guys, so we're here with the finale of Mexico City here, and we are cruising on, and we're going to be getting Dr. Zombowitz the third. So let's go ahead and fight here. Same team as usual. They're doing their job. They're winning for me, so I got no complaints. So, El Mundo Esto Muerto. Now, this team's actually been really well. I'm to continue my spiel about strategy for this city. Flanking is extremely key. So after we take out this, raid the junkyard so I can become stronger. I'm so down for that. All right, so really the key is to figure out, one, identify where in the world the snipers are, how to wipe them out as quick as possible, and to figure out how you can, like, flank these lumberjacks and stuff. So for the first, looks like we have one spawn point here, and we're pretty much just going to have to wipe out everybody. Now, the one key is you when we do end up, let's see. All right, so when we do reach those lumberjacks, we're just going to have to take them out quick. But if we put some brutes up front here, I'm not going to be too worried here. So I'm going to start dropping all my guys. Let's throw up a brute up here. And I'm going to eh, I'm gonna save him for a second. Let me go ahead and throw a runner up here. We're going to have to take out these guys quick. I'm actually going to use a... Dis ah, no, I'm not. I keep like second-guessing myself. I'm not going to do any of that, guys. Because we're just going to keep on rolling. All right, runner, go take him out. Get him. Uh, all right. So that guy is dropped. We dropped the machine gunner. So that's no worries at all. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest of my drones and stuff. And I'm going to get the infector going. So just in case everyone does die for some awful reason, we'll be safe. <laughs> It'll all be good, guys. So 
drones are going to work on that hospital there. However, my other infected mutated zombies are going up for those commandos right there. So the biohazard is starting to do some work on him. Sadly, nothing is coming out of it. So I'm just going to have to give him a second to kind of clear out those guys. Hopefully we can use the, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm afraid to do that. Let's get a defiler back here. Let's get another uh, pickle back up here. And I'm actually going to send a runner up here to go start working. Actually, I'm going to use the delivery man in just a second. And boom. Take him out. Just got one sniper to deal with. And then we are pretty much home free here. So we got 18 more drones to throw down. No complaints from me from that. And I'm going to go ahead and throw down Dr. Zombwitz up front here. Get a biohazard going right in the back here. So he's going to start causing some problems for that commando just over that wall there. And I'm going to throw down another runner. Let's get a brute up front to start taking some damage for me. And get my other pickleback going down there. And let's get a, another infector to just follow right behind. So I'm going to stem up my crew right here because we're getting pretty close to these commandos here. Looks like we just got to take down this other hospital here. And then we just got to take out these last group of people. So I'm going to throw another defiler right here. We're just going to take out this hospital real quick. Throw another runner in there. Why not? Get some extra help here. And 16 more drones. Yes, please. Let's just make sure we win. Let's ensure it. Ensure the win. I'm feeling good. I'm going to just throw up that foul mouth and I'm going to actually blow up every some throw up some blow up some stuff. All right. So he's got to take down this lumberjack, please. EMT's about to go down or paramedic whatever that is. Looks like we got to deal with this sniper and a couple of these commandos here, but I'm not worried. I'm feeling pretty confident cuz I'm just like throwing down every extra mutated zombie I can cuz I can. Why not? Okay. Down goes that and just that's a win down it all goes so there we go that's 318 trophies out of 375 wasn't really perfect by any means of the word but we got the win and i believe we're going to be getting dr zombowitz the third what do we got what do we win we got a stuntman a delivery man and some brains no complaints there let's go ahead and check out dr zombowitz here so there it is dr zombowitz the third let's see what he looks like he probably looks like such a beast now come on i want to check out my team come on Lima. Lima Paru. Look at that guy. What a beast. He's jacked out of his mind. He's got two hands on one arm. A little creepy, but it works. It's sweet. All right, guys. So that is going to finish off the infected. Let's play number five. I think I really hope you guys enjoyed, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.